بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا يقلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما اكتسبت ربنا لا تعاهدنا إن نسينا أو احطعنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا عات مولانا فانصرنا على الكوم الكافرين صنق الله العظيم Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Councillor Denise Fox, the worshipful Lord Mayor of Sheffield. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. It is my pleasure to be here today to open the Darni, Darnell Somali De Development Group's magnificent new offices. The purpose of the organization is to involve and empower the local community to take actions to improve their health and well-being and enrich people's lives and the society that we live in. The office will be a vibrant and energetic place which I am sure will offer a wide range of services to the local community. Sheffield is proud of its well-founded reputation for cultural diversity representing, as it does, a rich mix of ethnic origins and cultures, all working together to make it a lively, multicultural and multilingual city all helping each other. The afternoon is an opportunity to celebrate and enrich this as we open the new offices. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In my name, and the name of the Somali community, we are thanking Lord Mayor, Councillor Denise Fox, Fox councillors, managers, and the very important guests in here who are participating in this opening ceremony. We start this community on 2009. Since that time, we were struggling to find a base to assist our community. Finally, our dream became true on 22nd July 2016 with the help of our counselors who paid all their effort to achieve this office for the support of Somali youth and community. We also thanking 
to Sheffield Future for their cooperation and arrangement in handing over this office to the Somali community. We are planning to assist in this office for all communities in Dana generally, and particularly Somali-speaking communities. We are planning to do for our communities the following points and more. Attestation of all Somali legal documents, advice services, folklore dances, language learnings, Arabic, English, Somali, home education, clubs, GCE, filling the applications, showing the basic law and all other related. We are here for the community and we are working for them. Thank you very much. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I would like to say good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to say thank you, the Lord Mayor Sheffield, Councillor Denise Fox, to give your hard spiritual time for my community, especially community Donald, who deserve to give the time. And I would like to say to you, thank you. I would like to say again, thank you, Councillor Mary Lee, Councillor uh, Sahir Anas, and my community to give me time to speak on behalf of them and support this community. As you are aware, Denise, uh, Somali community is a very large community backing for the Labour Party. And at the moment, the community in Danal have no place to represent them. And I would like to congratulate my community to stand together and open a community in, to use their needs. And I will give you a background for the community in Danal, especially, which I believe a best community in the city, which I am proud of them. They are, uh, as you are aware, Somalis, there are five states, Somalia, Somaliland, um, South, uh, and what's called Chibuti, NFD, and Kenya. All of them, they live here, and they are unity always. So I would like to support, to ask you to support this community uh, because of, in order to get healthy environment, at the moment, our children sinking and going wrong bad, and we need a strong community stand together. And I believe this community, they can do the job they standing today. And I would like to take that message also, all of you, rest of the council, to support this community, their needs, in order to deliver and to rescue rest of the city. We have an active community representing, at the moment, my community. So I'm proud of to be part of this ceremony, an open ceremony, and I would like to say to you, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much for inviting me today, Mr. Barry, and congratulations on opening this centre for the people of Darnall, for the Somali community. I know you worked really, really hard, and I'm really, really proud that you, know, you have managed to open a centre for the Somali people. Um, I'd just like to thank everybody for the efforts for organising this event today and for kindly inviting me to be part of it. As a councillor, it's a great privilege to be invited to events like this, to meet with local people and to find out all the good work that's happening in the community. I'd just like to say, it was a very difficult decision for me to join a political party, but I felt it was important. I felt it was important to stand up for social justice and equality for women. Times are really difficult to be a woman, to be Muslim, and to belong to an ethnic minority. But as women and men, together, if we remain united, we can stand up for women's rights, for the rights of ethnic minorities, and with faith groups, for social justice and for equality for all. I'm proud of the voters in Darnall. 
because you sent a clear message to the wider community by selecting a Pakistani woman to represent you in a system that's very male dominated. I especially want to reach out to women and girls and help support them to become more active and involved in politics. After all, when the government makes changes to the education system, to the welfare system, and to workers' rights, it's usually the women who are affected. Therefore, we need more women to be involved and engaged in the process of influencing what happens and making decisions. I hope I can be a positive role model for the younger generation, male and female, and for them to aspire to do what they want to do. I hope especially that the men in our community will continue to support women and value our contribution to the community and the perspective we bring as homemakers, as mothers, wives and carers. And I hope you will continue to celebrate us as equals standing alongside you to change things for the better. So at a time when we just got a new woman prime minister who wants to be a role model in politics, who claims to bring everyone together in a deeply divided community, not just community, but country, but who comes from Eastbourne, who's an MP for an affluent town on the community, uh, community belt in London, who says herself that she belongs to the nasty party. I say I wish her well, and I hope that she lives up to all the promises she has made about turning Britain into a country that works for everyone by fighting against all the burning injustices she has inherited from David Cameron after his six years in office. But for my part, I am proud to live in Darnall. I am proud to be part of the Labour Party. I am proud to be British and I am pr pr proud to be Muslim. And I hope I can make all of you proud too by being the first Pakistani woman councillor in Darnall. And I hope that we can continue to work together to bring a co community that is united and co we work together cohesively with everybody else in our community. Thank you for listening and thank you for inviting me again for today. To Councillor Denise Fox, our Lord Mayor, for uh, agreeing to come and, and uh, open the, the new office today for the community. Um, and just a bit about the history that I have with the Somali community. And I think uh, it goes back to about eight years or so, when I met Mr. Barry. Yeah. Mr. Barry and Mr. Ali and everybody and Sada. Don't know that she's here today. Yeah, yeah and we had a meeting. Hey, we had, it was, I think it was the health service. We had a problem with the health service and we all went up to the PCT, as it was then, to talk about the issues for the local Somali community. And everybody was there and, and um, explained and was very articulate in how they explained what the problems were. I think following on from that, we had a big event at the Church of Christ where a lot of the community got together and people met who perhaps had not met before, a lot of the Somali community. So that was the basis for developing this group and that's where it all came from. And I think um, it's gone from strength to strength because you've, I know as a group, I know you've tackled uh, many problems over the last few years, housing problems, again, the health service, but lots of other problems as well. And I think as far as Darnell con is concerned, a very active community group that can only add to the well-being of Darnell, because as we know, we're a, a very diverse community, white, Somali, Pakistani, Bangladeshi, uh, Slovak, Roma. Um, we all have to pull together. Um, we've all got our own community interests, um, but we all share a lot of the problems together. Whether it's school or welfare, the health service, you name it, we all share those problems, and it's by working together that we can solve those problems. I think, obviously, each community has its own needs, um, and wants to identify them and wants to put voice to them and, and make changes. And that's what, um, certainly as a local councillor, I want to do by working with this group, who hopefully will be the voice of the Somali community in Darnall. Um, and it's in the city as well, I think there's a voice there for the city, but certainly, certainly for Darnall, because that's what means most to most of us here, I guess. So, um, so I just want to end this by saying thank you, everybody, for supporting this. Um, I hope it's now going to go from strength to strength and we'll certainly do what we can as local councillors to support 
this community, the whole community, but this community, because that's what we're here to celebrate, and also the people who have taken it upon themselves to work as hard as they can for, for you and everybody um, in the Somali community in Darnell. So thank you very much.